The Axialine 97000 transmission dynamometer is designed to test light and medium duty automotive transmissions and provide remanufacturers unmatched performance, quality, and value. The Axialine 97000 is efficient and easy to use. The result of Superflow's 50 plus years of experience manufacturing high quality transmission test equipment. The Axialine 97000 is packed with features designed to meet the needs of small repair shops, high volume remanufacturers, and automotive OEMs alike. The Axialine 97000 starts with a custom fabricated base frame, which is surface ground so the motor and eddy current mounting pads are perfectly level and aligned. The frame creates a storage reservoir that holds 23 gallons of transmission fluid and includes a fluid level and temperature gauge in the access cover. Dyno mounted fill and drain pumps pump filtered transmission fluid to the transmission so units can be quickly filled and drained right on the dyno. An oil pan with drip trays catches oil as it drains from the transmission and routes it back to the tank. Optional tank heater will preheat transmission fluid to operating temperatures, greatly reducing overall test time. Twelve pressure sensors and two flow meters for cooler flow record what is happening inside the transmission during operation. The 40 horsepower electric input motor is driven with Superflow's advanced control system to accurately simulate transmission inputs from internal combustion engines. Power adjustment, both up and down and left and right, make positioning the transmission simple and fast. Overrun safety switches prevent moving the input motor too far in any direction. The input motor is mounted on a rotating headstock that pivots in place to quickly change between inline and front wheel drive or all wheel drive configurations. Motor RPM is actually measured with a 62 speed wheel and a speed sensor for precise speed control. Two eddy current load units dynamically load the transmission output shafts to simulate real world driving conditions. The load units are powered with electric shuttle motors to quickly adjust and connect to the transmission via spline shafts. 60 tooth gears and speed sensors on both load units accurately measure output speed for precise control. Brake rotors on the end of each load unit are activated either from a foot pedal or optionally from the control console to lock the output shafts for converter stall tests. The jib crane and electric hoist make transmission mounting a one-man operation. The 97000 has adapter kits to fit most late model front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, and all wheel drive transmissions from passenger cars and light duty trucks. Adapter kits include precision alignment tooling to guarantee the transmission input shaft and torque converter hub are properly aligned with the input drive motor, preventing misalignment that will cause pump failures or damage to pump bushings and converter hubs. Detailed setup sheets show operators how to properly mount different transmissions. Here's how it works. The transmission master plate is bolted to the multi-position turret, and the turret is then set to the correct indexing position as indicated on the setup sheet. The flex plate pilots on the flange on the front of the input motor and is held in place with bolts. The master pilot sleeve is installed in the input drive flange and the proper depth is set and held with sleeve latches. The pilot bushing is then installed into the master pilot sleeve and it will align the converter to the flex plate and the input drive. The transmission is then mounted to the master plate using its dowel pins for alignment and bell housing bolts to secure it. The back of the torque converter is bolted to the flex plate using spool spacers to set converter depth and also drive the converter. Lastly, the splined output adapter is installed in the transmission and connected to the load units with splined output shafts. Super shifter factory cables are ID chipped so the software will auto load the available test procedures and pre-configure itself to operate that transmission. Currently Superflow has more than 100 transmission applications and cables available. Superflow designs and manufactures the entire data acquisition and control system from the circuit boards to the software that runs all of their dynamometers. This means your 97000 is equipped with a control system designed specifically for transmission testing by engineers that really understand what is required, not an off-the-shelf system made to work for transmission testing. The Super Shifter Pro Operator Console makes operating the Axialine 97000 easy and safe. Two controller knobs allow for manual adjustment of input speed and output load. Input speed is controlled in either RPM or pound-feet of torque on machines equipped with the optional input torque feature. The low control knob can be set to control to either percentage of load from 0 to 100 percent or to output torque in pound feet on machines equipped with the optional output torque measurement. Both controllers can be set for fine, medium, and coarse adjustment directly on the touchscreen. Eight programmable buttons provide control of common machine and transmission functions like solenoid control, upshift and downshift, lockup piston, input motor direction, auto stall brake control, and table motion. Button status is shown with the indicator light above each button. 
keyed system power can be used to lock out the machine and the red e-stop button will shut it down in case of emergency. The entire operator console is mounted on a swinging arm so the operator can visually monitor the transmission while testing or swing the console out of the way to change transmissions between tests. Five different screens within the included SuperShifter Pro software package provide finite control of the transmission and its solenoids. The easy to read digital displays for pressure switches, Prindle detent position, input and output speeds, oil flow, and gear ratio make it easy to understand how the transmission is performing and remain in the same place on each screen. The first screen within SuperShifter Pro is called the manual shift screen. It allows users to command transmission gear while manually controlling input speed and output load. The auto cycle feature shifts through each gear and holds each gear for the selected amount of time. Operators can control the input speed and output load with sliders on screen or the knobs on the console during this test. The manual shift screen is most often used to warm up transmissions for automated tests and perform quick function tests of fresh rebuilds. Electronic pressure control solenoids and lockup solenoids can also be tested and controlled via the on-screen interface. The manual solenoid control screen provides manual control of up to 12 solenoids during shifting. Double clicking on the solenoid slider lets operators change the solenoid drive frequency for that solenoid. Sliders can be preset and applied at once to manually simulate a gear shift or adjusted real time to highlight individual solenoids effect on flow. The solenoid test screen provides automated hot and cold pass-fail testing of each solenoid's resistance. Two parameter sets can be stored in the same test file, so the operator only has to select a cold test or a hot test. Test parameters are quick to edit, so setup or any changes are fast. Parameters can be modified for a single use or save for future use on the same type of solenoid. And the machine will generate pass-fail results based on the correct parameters. Results include solenoid name, its pass-fail result, and its resistance. The data screen displays all pressures, temperatures, flows, and speed sensors from the transmission. Individual control of solenoid duty cycle from this screen shows pressure change in one clutch at a time, allows users to manually shift gears or check line pressure and converter lockup, apply and release. Built-in shift tests allow the user to manually command the gear while modifying solenoid duty cycles. Upgrading the 97000 with the optional Windyne Data Acquisition System provides users with unmatched capabilities for automated testing, live data monitoring, and customizable post-test reporting. On Windyne equipped machines, a second monitor is installed on the operator console for Windyne's live display and analysis features. Up to 10 screen displays can be customized and dedicated to different transmissions or transmission families. Screen features include digital meters, panel meters, live traces, and bar graphs, and they're fully customizable so your live test data is presented in a way that makes sense to you. All of Windyne's digital displays include custom color ranges for visual alarms to represent high and low temperatures, pressures, or other conditions the operator needs to be aware of right away. Post-test analysis is fully configurable as well, with customizable graphs of test data and automated test data printouts to pack and ship with each transmission so your customers know the unit was fully tested. A typical Windyne test is outlined below, however Windyne tests are fully configurable so you can modify or create new ones to test transmissions according to your individual preferences. Step 1, Brindle Detent Position Check. Step 2, Cold Test Ramping the Input RPM through each gear while the transmission is still cold. Step 3, Warm Up Sequence to automatically vary input speed and output load and bring the transmission up to operating temperature. Step 4 is a hot test, which is a final ramp of the input RPM through each gear with the transmission at operating temperature. Step 5. Measure shift lag, which is the time in seconds for a shift to start, and measure shift time, which is the time in seconds from start of engagement to full engagement for each gear change. Step 6. Automatic Pro Report generates a pass-fail data screen of all the recorded test data against preset min and max ranges. The Pro Report feature checks test data against user-defined high and low values and triggers a notification for the operator while the test is running. Operator can then choose to retry, abort, or ignore based on the failure, so if the failure wasn't a harmful failure, the test to that point isn't wasted. After the test, Pro Report highlights any parameters that failed so operators can quickly diagnose problems and move on to the next unit. The report can be saved on the computer or exported to a master network database. Visit superflow.com or give us a call at 888-442-5546 for more information on the Axialine 97000 or any of Superflow's transmission remanufacturing products.